good morning guys welcome to your academy dna so let's today focus on the tcna basic inter vlan routing plan so we have a two router router 1 and router 2 on the router 1 we have a dedicated interface for vlan 10 and dedicated interface vlan 20 on router 2 we have only single interface which will be flow the vlan 10 and vlan 20 traffic so here on the router 2 we have to create a sub interface so let's go step by step so first step right whenever you will configure any lab right so always go step by step when i say step by step i would suggest let's start from the layer 2 then go to the layer 3 okay so when when we say when, when i say layer 2 layer 2 means you have to configure the vlan on the switches assign the ipad to the pc right and just uh, take the connectivity uh, between the, the pcs if you have a multiple pcs uh, in a one vlan Right, and then you can go and configure the router. So let's start with the switch. We have a switch one connected to the router one, switch two connected to the router two. So let's connect to the switch one. Okay, as per our design, how many VLANs we would require? Total VLAN we would require two VLAN over on the switch one, one VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So basically by default, by default switch doesn't have the any VLAN only we all the switches have the default VLAN. So to see the command, show VLAN. If you look at the show VLAN, VLAN 1 is the default VLAN, right? Other than VLAN 1, you can see VLAN 102, 103, 1004, and 1005. By default, all ports belong to the default VLAN, which is a VLAN 1, right? But now here, right, we have to configure FA0 slash 1 port on VLAN 10 and FA0 slash 2 port on VLAN 20. Same way, Gigabyte 0 slash 2 which is con which is connected on the router will be part of VLAN 20 and Gigabyte 0 slash 1 which is a part, a part of VLAN 10. So let's go and first configure the VLAN. How to configure the VLAN? Very simple command, right? Command is configuration first, you have to go to the configuration terminal mode. Then here you can execute a command VLAN and name name for <clears throat> to identify the VLAN VLAN then exit again configure VLAN 20 name VLAN 20 exit now it's time to configure the port or I can say interface you have to assign the VLAN to the particular interface so by default all ports belongs to the VLAN 1 right so now do one thing before go there just check whether you have VLAN in the VLAN table VLAN to VLAN C here you go VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 two VLANs has been created right and now currently there is a no port assigned to under these two VLANs. Right? So now go do one thing. FA0 slash 1, which is connected to the VLAN 10 PC, should be the access port and part of VLAN 10. How to configure? Configuration terminal. Then go to the interface FA0 slash 1. And here first you have to define the mode two types of mode in the VLAN right trunk mode and the access mode the port connected to the each devices PC laptop printer or scanner IP camera right those ports should be the access port and the port connected to the any other layer 3 device uh, right or switch to switch if you have a two switches and you have a multiple VLANs in that case the switch the link between the switch to switch has to be configured as a trunk so here just go and configure the switch port mode access and switch port access to which VLAN VLAN 10. So what is happening now here? So switch one interface FA 0 slash 0 now is a part of VLAN 10. Okay, so what does it mean? Does it mean this interface FA 0 slash 1 currently is part of VLAN 1? Will it be moved to the VLAN 10 now? Yes, of course. Go and check. Show VLAN. 
here you go see now this port view 0 slash 1 is now move under vlan 10 let us do the same thing for a gigabyte 0 slash 0 gigabyte 0 slash 0 it is connected to the router so basically whenever you connect your router and the switches together right and if you have a plan for a sub interface so you have to configure the switch port as a um, the switch port connected to the router must be in a trunk mode. So that's something we will configure for router 2 where we have only single link between the router and the switch and there are two VLANs configured on a switches and sub interface we will configure on a router 2. But for, the, for this design we have a dedicated two ports that for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So no worry. Okay. Configuration terminal. Then interface gigabyte zero slash one and this usage one connected to the router switch port mode access so ideally it should be the trunk even though if you have a only single vlan configured for router still i would suggest go for a trunk because it will give you the flexibility in future, if you have a multiple VLAN, if you are planning to configure a multiple VLAN, in that case, you would require the trunk port so that you can create a sub interface and configure the multiple uh, uh, and, and pass the multiple VLAN switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 10. Perfect. Don't go back to the interface FA. 0 slash 2 FA 0 slash 2 which is connected to the PC 20 right PC 20 hmm? PC 20 switch port more access switch port access VLAN 20 similar way the port connected to the right the port connected to the router is a gigabyte 0 slash 1 and this port also should be the access port interface gigabyte 0 slash Switch port more X switch switch port access VLAN 20. Perfectly fine. So go and just save the configuration. Copy run start means copy running configuration to startup configuration. So please refer my uh, 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 switch basic configuration router basic configuration video where I have explained the how to see the running configuration, how to see the startup configuration, how we can save the running configuration into startup configuration, how we can save the startup configuration into the running configuration. So let's stick to this topic and look at the VLANs. So VLANs, here you guys now. On the VLAN 10, no, in a VLAN 10, I can see FA0 slash 1 and Gigabyte 0 slash 1. On VLAN 20, I can see FA0 slash 2 and Gigabyte 0 slash 2. So what does it mean whenever I will receive any broadcast on the FA0 slash 1 that will get only forwarded on the port number gigabyte 0 slash 0. Why? Because all other ports belong to the VLAN 1 and these specific two ports belong to VLAN 20. Right? So VLAN break the broadcast. VLAN increase the broadcast domain. Right? So that is the reason. There is a one broadcast domain for VLAN 1. There we have a two interfaces. FA0 slash 1, FA0 slash 2. Okay. Go and assign the IP address right to the PC. Now look at this diagram right IP address schema for VLAN 10 we have a 10.10.10.0 slash 24 and for VLAN 20 we have a 10.10.20.0 slash 24. Let's go and assign the IP address to the PCs. Currently your IP address DSCP is in the uh, IP configuration is in the DSCP mode. Click on the static and assign the IP address 10.10.10.10 right then 255 dot 255.255.0 and default gateway the default gateway the uh, 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 IP address will be the router 1 gigabyte 0 slash 0 interface IP address right 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 1 so now this 10 dot 10 dot 1 IP address we will configure it on a router 1 gigabyte 0 slash 0 which is connected to the switch 1 port configure under VLAN 10 ok perfect similar way you can configure the VLAN 20 a uh, VLAN 20 PC static IP address is 10.10.20.10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 and gateway 10.10.20.0 .10 .10 
one. Perfect. So now you can see the IP address on the PC. How you can see the IP address on PC? Right. Click on the machine. Go to the command prompt, and here you can see IP config. Here you go. If you look at the IP config output, see ten dot ten dot ten dot ten. 255.255.0 slash module and default gateway 10.10.1. So let's go and now it's time to configure your router. Right now, how many interfaces we have in the router? Two interfaces currently, right? Which is connected to the switch and one interface connected to the router. So this link between the router to router, we call it as a now WAN link, right? WAN link. Okay, go to the so it's showing red. See guys, it's showing green, this is showing green. But this interface showing red. Why? Because all the router interface by default is in a administrative shutdown mode, right? Administrative down mode, I can say, right? So go to the router, just expand it, okay, and just enter the command show IP int brief, right? See, gigabyte zero slash zero is currently administratively down. So guys, this is a router. No need to configure VLAN over here. It's a router. It's not a switch. Right here, you have to configure directly uh, IP on the interface. Perfect. So gigabyte zero slash zero connected to the switch port. Gigabyte zero slash one, which is a part of VLAN. So do one thing: configuration terminal. Then go to the interface. Gigabyte zero slash zero. Then IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot one. Then two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Hit enter and just fire a command. No shutdown. When I say no shutdown means this administrative down port will be up now. No shutdown. Okay. Similar way. Now see guys, look at here. Now it's green. It is showing green here over here. Right. So it is it is showing amber. Amber means FTP operations, panning to operation. By default, every switch perform the FTP operation whenever the switch port is come up. Okay. Then go down, exit interface gigabyte zero slash one IP address. Now gigabyte zero slash one connected to the switch port gigabyte zero slash two, which is a part of VLAN twenty. So we have to configure the VLAN twenty IP address on the gigabyte zero slash one. What is the IP address, guys? Ten dot ten dot 20.1.255.255.255.0 slash 24 and then no shutdown. Perfect. Now if you go back and look at the show interface, show IP interface brief, so you see the IP address and interface status is showing up, up. Show IP interface brief. See guys now here. Gigabyte 0 slash 0 IP address 10.10.10.1 then status is up, up means Administratively up and line protocol is up. Perfectly fine. So now just copy running configuration into startup configuration. When router will uh, reboot next time, so if you look at the startup configuration, where you will see all the configuration. Okay. Now uh, uh, we have configured two interfaces. One is a zero slash zero and zero slash one, and having the both having the unique IP addresses we have configured. So by default, router creates routing table for this connected interface. So, Prasad, can you please show us the uh, routing information, routing table? Okay, no, wait, no, no problem. Go ahead. Show IP route. Here you go. IP route, right? Router by default creates a routing table for connected interface. See, guys, here. C means connected. 10.10.0 10 slash 24 via gigabyte 0 slash 0. But you have configured the only IP address and submit mask. So, based on this IP address submit mask, router has calculated the network id perfect now what does it mean its l means local so connected submit is 10.10.0 slash 24 and 10.10.1 is locally configured on the interface gigabyte slash 1 similar way you can see it for the gigabyte slash 0 and gigabyte slash 1 both here okay now in print, I can see this switch port FA0 slash 1 configure under VLAN 10. The interface connected to the router 1 configure under VLAN 10. So, can I go and ping my default gateway IP address on PC, the VLAN 10 PC? Right, you can try. How to configure? Right, go to the desktop. Under desktop, you can see the command prompt. So, what is your default gateway? 10.10.10.1. 
So first look at the ARP hyphen A. So currently you do not have any ARP entry. Then I say ARP means your so your address 10.10.10.10 and the gateway IP address belongs to the same subnet 10.10.10.1 and 10.10.10 belongs to the same subnet. So when you try to enter your default gateway IP address, definitely the destination MAC address will be the default gateway MAC address, right? Or I can say the destination MAC address is 10.10.10.1 MAC address. But 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 when when it come to the layer two encapsulation, definitely source IP address will be your IP address, that your PC IP address and destination IP address will be the 10.10.10.1 IP address. So your machine will broadcast, or you can you I can say your machine can initiate ARP broadcast, so that the router will respond its interface MAC address interface MAC address. So do one thing. Let's first try to pin. Once you pin, then only it will initiate the means before initiate the ICMP packet, it will first do the broadcast because 10.10.10.1 10 for 10.10.1 for 10 this machine doesn't have any MAC address. So enter. Yes, I can able to pin. Now guys go and check for the MAC address. ARP have one. Here you go. Previously the table was completely empty. No ARP entry found. But now you can see the ARP entry for 10.10.10.1. Why? Because your PC and 10.10.10.1 is in the same subnet. Look at the MAC address 003E4635B01. 5B01. If you want to cross verify, go to the router and just look at the MAC address of gigabyte 0 slash 0. Enter. Here you go, guys. Yes. See the MAC address. The gigabyte 0 slash 0 is line protocol is up and hardware is cn gigabyte ethernet address is 00034635b01 if you compare these two this one is the same oh perfect so now you can see the mac address gateway mac address on your machine and you can able to in your gateway perfect yes now, is there any impact on the switch? Of course, of course. Switch now will build two MAC address table. One is for the VLAN 10 and another is for the VLAN 20. So, go ahead and check for the MAC address. Show MAC address, MAC show MAC address table. Now, here you can see the two MAC addresses. One, it is showing 5B01 from interface gigabyte 0 slash 1. It means this is my router MAC address. And 6216 is my machine IP address, which I am learned from the, uh, the this MAC address I learned from the FA0 slash 1. Okay. If you would like to verify your machine MAC address, just remember the last four bit 6216 6216 go to the machine and here you can see ip config all ip config all i have found the linux command see guys 6216 okay 6216 0030F2116216 Similar way 0030F2116 so This is the MAC address of your machine Perfect Now switch has created VLAN table uh, MAC address table for VLAN Let's do one thing Go and take the connectivity between the VLAN 20 PC and router Okay So similar way just check the R RP hyphen A no entry just try it and what what is your IP address? IP config IP config IF config is a Linux command all when I say all means my MAC address is 31D4 and IP address is 10.10.20.10 gateway is a 10.10.20.1 do one thing just try to ping 10.10.20.1 enter yes you can able to ping now 10.10.10.10.10.20.1 now you must have the ARP entry right for 10.10.20.1. Yes, I have MAC addresses 5B02. 
फाइव ई जीरो टू सो गो टू द राउटर टू द राउटर राउटर वन कमांड शो इंटरफेस गीगाबाइट जीरो स्लैश वन इट इज जीरो स्लैश वन यस जीरो स्लैश वन आई मैक एड्रेस इज आई बी जीरो टू ओके गो एंड क्रॉस वेरीफाई फाइव बी जीरो टू परफेक्ट राइट नाउ यू कैन एबल टू नाउ यू कैन एबल टू पिंग यूअर डिफॉल्ट गेट वे नाउ कैन वी कैन वी गो एंड ट्राई बिटवीन द वी लैंड टेन आई पी मशीन आई पी एड्रेस एंड वी लैंड ट्वेंटी येस यू कैन यू कैन डेफिनेटली कम्युनिकेशन विल बी हैपन थ्रू राउटर ओनली वाय बिकॉज वी हैव कॉन्फिगर डिफॉल्ट गेट वे ऑन अ राउटर फॉर वी लैंड टेन एंड वी लैंड ट्वेंटी ओके टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन डॉट टेन विच इज द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ विच इज द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ वी लैंड ट्वेंटी पी सी हेर यू गो येस यू कैन पिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी ऑप्शन इज प्रेस टेन डॉट टेन डॉट डू वन थिंग डू डू ओके बिफोर दैट आर पी आई फन ए यू आर नॉट एबल टू सी द आर एंट्री फॉर टेन डॉट टेन डॉट ट्वेंटी डॉट टेन यू विल नॉट वाय because every machine will maintain the arc table for its only connected subnet pcs connected pc means whatever the ip address belongs to the same subnet for that ip address only your machine will maintain the arc now in this case whenever you try to ping 10.10.20.10 from 10.10.10.10 so source is 10.10.10.10 and destination is Source is 10.10.10.10 and destination is 10.10.20.10. It means source and destination belongs to the different subnet, right? Machine always maintain the ARP table for its only I uh, only for IP address within the same subnet. The reason, guys, you will not able to see the ARP for 10.10.20.10. Simple. What your machine will do? Machine will look at the source IP address. And the destination IP address belongs to the different subnets. It will send traffic to the default gateway. That is the reason you always have the default gateway MAC address in place. Clear? So, in the next video, right, we will focus on how to configure the sub interface. Thank you so much. Bye bye.